Well, hello. How are my favorite boys and girls doing? I hope you've had a wonderful day and I hope that you've tried some new things and had some wonderful adventures. Tonight I have a special story to share with you. The story is called The Scarecrow's Hat. It is written and illustrated by Ken Brown and it's published by Scholastic Incorporated. Parents, if you like this book, down below is a link where you can go and purchase your own copy. All right, let's start the story. The Scarecrow's Hat That's a nice hat, said Chicken to Scarecrow. Yes, it is, replied Scarecrow. But I'd rather have a walking stick. I've been standing here for years now, and my arms are so tired. I'd love a walking stick to lean on. I'd swap my hat for a walking stick any day. Do you know what a scarecrow is? A scarecrow is something that farmers sometimes set up in their fields to scare away the birds so they don't eat all of the grain. However, this particular scarecrow doesn't seem to be doing a very good job if you see all the birds on his arms. Now, Chicken didn't have a walking stick, but she knew someone who did. Well, that's a nice walking stick, said Chicken to Badger. Yes, it is, replied Badger, but I'd rather have a piece of ribbon. It gets hot and stuffy underground, so I prop my door open with my stick. But I'm always tripping over it. If I had a ribbon, I could tie the door open. I'd swap my walking stick for a ribbon any day. Now, Chicken didn't have a ribbon, but she knew someone who did. And that's a nice ribbon, said Chicken to Crow. Yes, it is, said Crow, but I'd rather have some wool. My nest is on this high stone ledge, and it's very hard to sit on. I'd love some warm, soft wool to line it with. I'd swap this ribbon for some wool any day. Oh, look at this fancy crow. It appears to have some type of silver necklace around its neck. Maybe it's a locket. Maybe it has a picture of its mom and dad inside. Or maybe it's a picture of Mrs. Crow. Who knows? Now, Chicken didn't have any wool, but she knew someone who did. That's a nice wool coat, said Chicken to Sheep. Yes, it is, replied Sheep. But I'd rather have a pair of glasses. I have to keep a lookout for the wolf, and my eyes are not as good as they used to be. I really need a pair of glasses. I'd swap some of my wool for a pair of glasses any day. Now Chicken didn't have a pair of glasses, but she knew someone who did. That's a nice pair of glasses, said Chicken to Owl. Yes, it is, said Owl. My old one's broke, and so I had to get a new pair. But I'd rather have a blanket. The sun streams through my window and keeps me awake all day. Which wouldn't matter if I had a good, thick blanket to sleep under. I'd swap my glasses for a blanket any day. Now Chicken didn't have a blanket. But she knew someone who did. That's a nice blanket, said Chicken to Donkey. Yes, it is, replied Donkey. But I'd rather have a few feathers. The flies drive me crazy, buzzing around my ears. My tail isn't quite long enough to flick them away. But if I had some long feathers tied to the end of it, I could swat them easily. I'd swap my blanket for a few long feathers any day. Oh, look at this poor donkey. Look at all those flies that are swarming around his head. No wonder he's not happy. So he's thinking that if he could tie some feathers to his tail, then it would be long enough for him to get rid of the flies. Quick as a flash, Chicken pulled out one, two, three of her longest feathers and tied them to Donkey's tail. Donkey was delighted and, true to his word, swapped his blanket for the feathers. Look, now his tail is long enough to be able to get rid of those flies. Chicken took the blanket to Owl, who swapped it for his glasses, the old ones, of course. 
Oh, Al can now sleep soundly. Isn't that nice? She took the glasses to sheep who swapped them for her wool. She took the wool to crow who swapped it for her ribbon. She took the ribbon to Badger, who swapped it for his walking stick. Finally, she took the walking stick to Scarecrow. With a grateful sigh of relief, he leaned his tired old arms on the stick and gladly swapped it for his battered old hat. Well, Scarecrow looks happy. But what is Chicken going to do with this hat? Why did she want it so much? It looks like it's way too big for her to wear. Shall we find out? Chicken took the hat and filled it with fresh, sweet-smelling straw. Whoa, that's a nice nest, said Duck. Yes, it is, said Chicken, and I wouldn't swap it for anything. The end. That was an amazing story. Chicken, she had to work really, really hard in order to get that hat, didn't she? And what did she want the hat for? She wanted to make a nice nest for herself. And it looks like it turned into a really nice nest after all. However, what I really like about the story is that she didn't give up. Initially, in the beginning, it didn't look like she'd be able to get the hat because the scarecrow wanted something else that she didn't have. Did the chicken give up? No, she kept trying and she was able to help everyone else find something that they were looking for and eventually was able to get what she was looking for also. I hope that we can learn from that and that as you run into challenges in your life, that just like chicken, you don't give up and you try to find other ways in order to solve the problem. Good night. I hope you sleep well and always remember, Papa loves you.